Hello everyone and welcome back to Misadventures of Lore Silver. So I think, I don't know where we are. Let's save. I feel like this game is going to be, ah, the true end. We've made it. Fancy dresses and accessories that decorate the walls. And I can see a sewing machine on one of the desks. I see another door at the back. I assume going to the room where the toys are made. Anna and Yuri start fighting over a dress. Are they fighting over which fabric is better than the other? I don't understand. They make me feel like I'm <laughs> in a nursery. I thought Vonics were supposed to keep the souls of the people they had drowned in jars. Not everyone fits into stereotypes. He puffs a cloud of smoke. May I ask your name? Laura Silver. Nice to meet you, Miss Silver. You too, Mr. Cladivo. A meal's fine. I cut my ties with my family names long ago. He raises his pipe to his mouth. Are you some sort of a debt collector? You can say that. Then I believe we have much to talk about. I take my list out and put it on the table. I remember this handwriting. He's undoubtedly the Vodnik I'm looking for. It's very hard to read. What makes me curious is I made my wish before I became a Vodnik. How did he know that I am one now? That's odd. Anyway, it looks like he's finally on the offensive after all these years to collect unpaid debts. He must have given my name as one of the bad guys, huh? It's true that I haven't paid my debt yet, though. What did he want from me? You usually expect him to talk about taking your firstborn child after granting one of your wishes. That is how the story goes. He wanted me to bring him a ghost child, if I ever see one. Anna? No, not her. He mentioned that he was looking for a ghost boy who is approximately 10 years old. That sounds creepy. Maybe he was looking for Yuri? I was thinking of asking him about it. However, I didn't want to interrupt your talk. You're a kind man, Mr. Emil. Yuri, won't you come here a bit? What is it, Silver? Do you know anything about the Wish Grancer? Hmm. Only thing I know is that their name sounds pretty stupid. I believe it's not his real name. He chose that nickname for himself. Somehow even more miserable. And that's looking for a ghost boy around the age of 10. You'd be surprised if you knew the number of ghosts who'd fit the description. Did he give you any other clue? Please wait. I'll take out the document he gave me. Why are you sulking? I want to go back to play with... Looks like I'll talk a bit more with Mr. Emil. I think you'll have time to play with her. He still looks bothered. I guess children do get bored easily. Here. The draw apparently made by some child. What is this? This is a document I received. He said that he drew the kid he wanted to meet with. Are you sure Anna didn't draw this? My daughter could do a better job at it. What do you think about this, Yuri? This looks bad and creepy, Silver. Blame that on the artist. Is this you? No. Fine. Did this wish man give any other clue? He only said that the kid he's looking for was his friend. I don't have a friend like that. Don't worry about it. I'll do the explaining when I give him my report. When I finish going through this list, I hope that I'll find the boy he spoke of too. Thank you, Miss Silver. No need to be thankful. This is my job. 
May I ask you how you know the wish grants her? It's not a sensitive subject, of course. I also wanted him to grant me a wish, though he didn't want a ghost child for me in return. He only gave me this list. He told me to take care of the debtors. It's payment, then. Exactly. I have a friend who employed me in this detective bureau to help me find the debtors all around the world. Ha ha. He puts out a cloud of smoke. This smells of nepotism. That's not entirely wrong. His judgmental look is replaced by a smile. Though, you being here proves that you're doing your job properly. Besides, it's obvious that you're accustomed to it, since it's my first time seeing a human getting attached to a ghost. Attached? I thought you wanted to purchase the doll, so I assumed you were willing to take care of him. I still want to purchase it, but that doesn't mean I'm... I am his caretaker. I met him this morning. I say doing a favor for a ghost isn't something normal hum normal humans would do. What are you going to do with Yuri once you leave? Never thought about it. Though if he wants to come with us, he's free to do that. I can use the ghost skills in my investigations. After all, be able to get his hand, be able to get inside places neither Cooper nor I can. Looks like you're already seeing him as a teammate. You could say that. Here I was, writing about several humans, especially about their behavior towards the supernaturals. Seriously, it became my ha habit while working. I believe I know one of those humans, as Blanca told me everything. How is she doing? I got her arrested today. Spectacular job. Did she mention that I've written her a letter? No. Not at all. What was it about? You'd think that she would feel remorse for what she has done. She didn't intend to kill me, so I thought she might have been regretful for it. I wanted to ease her conscience. Maybe win an old friend back. Who knows? Besides, I'm sure she saw me as some witch doctor who was trying to revive his daughter. Um. We'll ask about the fisherman. Ah, that subject. You've learned what happened between me and Miss Blanca. Two fishermen on it. Naturally, they thought a dead body opened his eyes. Meant jumped out of the boat, and the current was stronger than usual. Tried to understand what happened and how I was even alive. That I noticed the other fisherman pointing a harpoon at me. I also jumped out of the boat to escape. find him anywhere. Not the story of the fisherman, but I wonder what told you. It's disappointing to know that people are afraid of me. Green sea beasts could be threatening. Um, about the dolls. Dolls must like to possess things they can finally control, huh? I can try to blend in with humans. Dolls you make look exquisite. Appreciate the sentiment. My job is to make bodies for ghosts who aren't content with possessing old street lamps or cheap teapots. It's hard to please them. I can't say that I'm specifically trying to please them, though. I just want to do a good job. keep it to myself if you don't need to specify it in your report. I simply asked because I was curious. 
Maybe you would be interested in telling me what you wished. I can't let anyone know about it. I nod. His wish must be about a sensitive subject, similar to mine. Though my story ends with my daughter and me together, I don't ask for anything more. Here is that I have you on my list. Are you sure that I can take Yuri? My father, Miss Silver. I have to think on of what's best for children. I suppose this troublesome kid wants to stay beside you. Thank you for the parenting advice. Anytime. Been through a lot. But now but he's now at peace with things. I almost hunted this man. Oh, yeah, we've hunted him down several times. To see her. He's trying on hats, admiring himself in the mirror. He's watching him saying stuff like, like how that hat would suit her better. The bakery never ends. We travel a lot as a group. I currently don't have the materials you demanded in exchange for Yuri's body. I could bring them to you after I take a trip to England. Um, our employer collects a lot of records. So I think I can take some from her. Would that be a problem? You're obviously someone who pays her debts, Miss Silver. Time isn't that important for us anymore. I can wait. Also, a few records would do just fine. We've been listening to the same music for months now. Try not to come around my nap time and I'll make a discount for you. Now that you mention it, did we arrive while you were sleeping? Unfortunately so. And I had to wake me up after she heard about all the fuss. And call me communicating, even though he acts like he can do anything. When you return to pay your debts, do you bring Yuri with you? The kids look like they're having fun. God, these kids are having so much fun. And that's it. Wow. We're leaving, right, Silver? Yep. We had a deal with Mr. Vonick. A deal? Son of your business. Wasn't your business either. Do you want me to leave you on your own? Goodbye, Miss Silver. Yuri, take care. Not, expect not expecting her to give me such kind parting words, I smile. They're both nice people. And it wasn't so bad, actually. You're the one who's poor. What kind of life were you leading while you were alive? You used to be the king. The king of Hanover. Older than you, for sure. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we're talking about this. This is usually before we enter the house. But now it's after we leave. Take that as a no. Miss Silver. Yuri. Oh, no. The We got the bad end. Um... That's when we talked about it. That's right. And we had to do like that quick call to our boss. Uh, 
And the door opened for me. Slayed a few beasts. Was the door seen? Shush, Yuri. I'm comfortable. Looks into my eyes. He lowers his voice. It's silver. What about his family? When people look for him? What business did he have with the man he was running away from? If you were that curious, you should have come into the town. Where should I drive to, Miss Silver? Take out my list. Huh. Looks like we have more business here in Czechoslovakia. We're heading to the capital, Prague. Wait. What? I took some gloves from the Vonnik shop. What have you done? They look like the ones Pavla owns, but these have fishes embroidered inside, so I think they are better. Did you steal again, Yuri? No, Anna gave them to me. Sounds like a lie. So let's go back to the hotel. I have to give her gloves back to Pablo. I'm not really sure if we should go there again. Want Mr. Chalupin to kill us? I'm still alive, Miss Silver. Besides, it was just the children playing around. It's not a problem. What kind of person was Vonnik? Hmm, a good one, I believe. Did you purchase the toy you rewarded, Miss Silver? I kind of borrowed it for the time being. I have to pay him with the act with the actual price someday. We can visit Hotel Pavo when we do, too. It may be busy in spring or summer, though. Yes. Go faster. I can't do that, Mr. Yuri. Seems the policemen have left. I don't want to go in. Oh, why, Miss Silver? They were all kind people. Coming out of the hotel when she sees us, she turns back and says, See, Cooper, even this little girl hates us. I don't believe that's the case, Miss Silver. I know. The case was about Vodnik. I think Cooper meant you shouldn't take Palma seriously, Silver. I'm really. Will we return like Pablo did too? He's coming. He has a knife in his hand. <laughs> oh no. Approach. He looks a lot more positive than I expected. Silver. Philip? Thank you for everything. I didn't expect this. Don't mention it. Are you aware that you have a knife though? He laughs. I didn't notice. Wait for a bit. Well, we know that you're not going to harm us now. I can stay. Really? I would expect that from you, Silver. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? Well, of course, I'm not that fine. Don't worry. I'm sure Zivian will. I know. He return as a ghost because he was such a prick. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, exactly. He may be here watching this too. Film gives me a paper bag. I made these for you. You two didn't eat anything, so I was getting worried. You're welcome. I look inside the bag. What are these? Those are called strudels. I usually make them with apples, but... Silver, you seem like the type to hate sweet food, so I changed the recipe a little bit. How did you know? Same way you knew Blanca was the culprit. This is my job. That makes no sense. It's me pay her back to Yuri too. Though, is Yuri able to eat? I don't eat commoner food. This is a pastry that German knights pack before exploring new lands though. Getting brighter. I have a feeling that he just lied, but fine. Really? I don't make commoner food, Lord. Lord Von Gildern. You should have been my cook. It looks like everyone in Hotel Pamba is accustomed to spoiling children. 
Speaking of children, we see Pavla and Mr. Chalupnik getting out of the hotel. Leaving without a goodbye. Aww, that's precious. Uh, where will you go now? Wrong. The capital. That's neat. Miss Cooper, if you have any problems like this again, feel free to let us know. We'll get your mail if you send it to the Bureau. I'm sure Mr. Villem knows the address. Have a safe trip. Back. Ah, Pablo, look. Give my gloves back. Bought myself better ones. You can take your, your gloves. Start the car, Cooper. We're leaving. Wow, look at that. This is the end. And a few friends on the way. Yuri gives me his paper bag. Silver, taste this, and describe the taste immediately. So I was right about him not being able to eat. Which supernatural being are we going to deal with this time? A ghost, I presume. Ghost known as the murdered nun. A murdered nun? What about it? Nothing. I just sounded too creepy. The nun part or the murdered part? I bet it's the nun part. Of course it's the murdered part. Why would I get scared of a nun? They wear black. And you get scolded big time if you use something naughty. That doesn't sound... That doesn't mean that they're scary. Now that I think about it, you can buy some records from Prong. Visit Mr. Vodnik again. Will we visit here again? Maybe. If we are able to purchase records. Oh wait, silver. We could steal the church's pipe organ to bring it to Anna too. She mentioned she plays the violin. She might be interested in playing an organ. Himself. Possibly considering what kind of a sin it would be to steal the church organ itself. If it's a reasonable size, why not? End number one. The good end. Is that it? Is that the whole game? Oh, then we go through here. Here we go. Uh, I don't know why you want me to call. Say so. Some Pilsen with Scala. First day I should report that Scott had died. Kill them. It'll be the best if you assign another detective here, Miss Kirat. Our representative in Germany will take care of it. Besides, you already dealt with the Vodnik now, haven't you? Was he the culprit? No. It isn't a family drama. The maid of the hotel killed him because she wanted to get rid of someone who was conducting research on the Vonnik. She didn't want us to know that. She tried, to, she tried her best to make me believe that it was the Vonnik who killed Scott. No, we had to use a walkthrough. We were completely deceived. Multiple times. I talked with Vonnik too. It went smoothly. Show any hostile behavior against him. He didn't. You can record him as a harmless beast. He said the witch grantor asked for a child ghost. I thought his daughter was a ghost too. The witch grantor didn't want his daughter according to his account. Since no child ghost came to visit his shop. He hasn't paid his debt yet. That's reasonable. I'll let him know about this. Talk about you before his death. And trust you. That he found evidence against you. Also, he stated that there was something suspicious about your documents. Not thoroughly.
I made a wish only about being the boss of a supernatural cases bureau. It'd be very stupid of me, wouldn't it? I also thought you might have talked to the Vodnik and the Killing Skata. Kill Skata. I would break his door and door and face him instead of plotting those plans. I was loving to get some. I mean, remember that no one else would help you pay the debt you have. Don't ever forget that we are both related with the wish grantor. We're in the same boat. You're almost as guilty as me. I'm not working with him. I'm only paying my debt. And I'm the one who's helping you to pay your debt. Nothing more, nothing less. You didn't mention this to anyone else, yes? Good. You won't either. Don't forget that I'm the only one you can trust in this bureau. The way I do my business because you're stressed and you just lost a co-worker. <coughs> Anything else you want to say? Witches. Oh. <laughs> Guys, we finally completed the game. In fact, we could have probably finished this entire game um, during the live stream. What's a real shame about this is that, uh, I looked at Steam and it said that the developers weren't able to finish the second or third game, so that's pretty sad. <clears throat> um, it's here somewhere. Yep. Game's over. Well, let me pull it up. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so the Silver, Laura Silver Chapter 2 cancellation. So they're unable to do it at all. So there's no Chapter 2 at all. So it's basically Chapter 1, and then that's it. But you know what? This game is really good. It was really fun to play. We found every end possible. Um, yeah. Press. Um. There will be more to come. Yeah. No. That's it. Full playthrough. Because we got all the ends. Oh. Wow. Game over, huh? Game over. Alright, everyone. This is about all the time I have left for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!